Okay, now we're ready to start putting on the dark color, which is going to be our purple. And I'm going to load it about halfway or so up the, the bristles of the round brush. Then only working with the tip of the brush, I'm going to kind of tilt the rock facing me so I can see it. You want to pull in just random strokes. And you want to use a pressure almost as if you were using a feather to brush it on. And I do the, the front and keep everything going in that rounded shape. Then you want just some light strokes around the back side. Because your emphasis is mostly going to be on the front, but you've got to lay in a little bit of dark color back there. Then immediately, you don't have to clean your brush. Now, if your brush begins to get dry, you can take and touch it into just the tiniest little dot of water just to add some moisture to it. But then you want to continue building up those layers and I just go back in and touch into some more white and just keep that round feathery touch motion going and then right before your eyes you will begin to see your rose form and wherever you need a little more dark just Touch back into the full strength dark paint and add it. And where you feel you need a little more light, just for contrast, like I feel like I've lost a little bit of my dark there. So I touch back in and just pull some, some strokes in. And I do this just like I did on the, the pink one until I get a pleasing effect, something that looks good and kind of reminds you of a faux cabbage rose because the cabbage roses are the ones that kind of grow like a head of cabbage looks and so they this is just a a good way to do a pretty little rose that takes on that appearance and you haven't had to do a whole lot to get it there and I like to build up my layers and then go back and I usually finish it off with a little bit of white. If you feel you need to clean your brush, clean your brush and start doing the same thing again. If you need it to dry a little bit and set up, let it dry a little bit and then go back into it. So I'm going to let this one dry and make sure I've got enough of my paint color for this mixed up and we'll work on it. 